listen to this, a brazen crime caught on camera. Dunwoody police say crooks pointed a gun at a fast food drive through worker, then made off with a gym bag full of cash. Fox Life's Caitlin Pratt is live in Control A with the story for us, Caitlin. Lisa, that daring holdup in the early morning hours happening in a busy area near Perimeter Mall. Those nimble crooks, they actually catapulted through the window of the drive through restaurant. Minutes. That's all the time it took for two thieves to jump up and in through a McDonald's 24 hour takeout window and get away with cash from a safe inside. Cameras rolling at this Dunwoody fast food restaurant on Ashford Dunwoody Road show the men vault through the opening. Forcing the clerk back at gunpoint. Both men wore gloves and hid their faces with masks. It was Monday morning, just after four. The pair police say charged that service window running up from a hiding spot here behind the building. Investigators say a customer was ordering food as the crime unfolded. They're now calling that driver in a dark sedan a person of interest. Uh, it kind of uh, set off the uh, clerk to open up the window to unlock it. Uh, when they were in the exchange of money, uh, two males came out from behind the bushes. The uh, driver ended up fleeing the scene uh, once the uh, suspects made entry into the business. The men then forcing a worker to unlock the store safe and stuffed the money into a green and black bag. We, we don't really like to release the uh, amount of uh, money that was taken, but they, they did get away with a certain amount of cash. The nimble crooks leaving the same way they came in through the service window. Police hope these images help them make an arrest. And understandably very frightened, but no one inside the restaurant was physically hurt. Dunwoody police officers now comparing notes with the Sandy Springs Department, where detectives are investigating two similar armed robberies at McDonald's there. From Control A, I'm Caitlin Pratt, Fox 5 News. All right, Caitlin, thank you. Rock